So I and Elo again, this is again Alan, the Forex Algo Trader. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add indicators to a Forex trading chart automatically. So to do this one, it is really and super easy. The thing that you have to do, or uh, maybe I can have this uh, indicator that this 3MA indicator system that we had already coded. If I were to initialize it and start it automatically, have a look so we have three moving average moving average indicators shown like uh, you can see here where the first moving average indicator is uh, a period of a period of 20 a period of eight the first moving average then the intermediate moving average a period of 50 and then the other uh, intermediate moving average 21 period again in this case and then the slow moving average a period of 50. So in this case you may want to add the indicators straight away. So if I were to just go ahead of here I think my 3MA system is uh, right this one. If I were to attach it to the chart the the moving averages are uh, still there, but as you can see in this case they are not automatically added. So to add this in mql5 it is very and super easy so just need to go to the system file that you are reusing or the source code where the source code is in this case just click on the ide icon over there i'll just find the ma system which is the ma system over here i'll just expand it so to do this one you just need to go to the on init function and then add the indicators so the inbuilt function that you can use to to add the indicators is chart chart add chart indicator yeah chart indicator add then you need to provide in the chart id which is a long integer so zero for the current chart then sub window zero again for the current chart sub window in this case and then the indicator handle that you want to add to the chart straight away so this in this case we have three these three in the uh, uh, mean moving average addos over here ma1 ma2 and ma3 first intermediate and slow respectively so you just need to add maybe handle moving average one in this case then everything should be working fine so if i were to compile this one and then rush back to my to my uh, client terminal again over here you can see uh, we will just need to have to wait for the initialization to end in this case so let me just keep on refreshing until the indicator is added in this case so as we wait maybe for the indicator to be added in this case once you initialize your expert advisor i could just maybe i think it is the same over here again let me just change the chart to that one to refresh it you can just go back over here and then add the rest of the indicators in this case so I'll just copy that one to save time and i can just copy then paste it a few more times so in this case now we will add moving handle 2 then handle for moving average 3 in this case so i will just compile it again and then we can just go back and see if the moving average indicator is applied to the chart in this case once on the on init function again if you want the indicator to be added and uh, to the chart on the on tick function in this case since it is taking a little bit longer i can just go back over here i can just copy this one just copy and then paste it on the on tick function after here in this case so let me just compile it again and see what we get in this case so right now you can see each and every time that we have the tick function the indicators are straight away added to the chart if i were to go ahead again i don't know if you really 
so this one so you can see the the indicators are added to the chart again in this case so if i were ju just to go back again over here and then remove the the indicators where were they over here just remove them over there then compile it again they shouldn't be added so I'll just go ahead and delete the current indicators so just click on the chart then indicator list i mean no indicator list indicator list then delete the indicators accordingly in this case So you can see if whenever I initialize them again, the indicators are not automatically added. In this case, even if I restart the system, the indicators are not added. However, they are in the background in this case. So to do this once one more time, you can see that if I were to compile this one, the indicators are automatically added on each and every new tick in this case so that was super easy that is all bye bye thank you and uh, have nice trading activity ahead